This time of year demands comfort food. And is there anything more comforting than a meatloaf? And how about an Asian meatloaf? A dank Asian meatloaf. As requested by G Money. Woo woo. G Money, we got you covered. Because we're making this and it's gonna be fantastic. All my stuff right here smell like it's like I'm making pot stickers. I love the smell. I love Asian food. I love everything. I love ginger. I love garlic. I love hoisin sauce. I love the green onions. I love everything. Oh, and, and our protein? Oh, I'm not screwing around, G Money. Because look what I've got. I've got ground chicken, ground beef, and ground pork. I have approximately two thirds of each, adding up to two pounds. It's gonna be fantastic. First, I was just gonna go with pork. And then I thought, no, no, because I was thinking the dumplings. And they go to chicken too, no. And they beef for a little intensity of flavor. I think all three of these are gonna be fantastic. The whole thing's gonna be great. We start in this pan right here, getting it hot to cook some vegetables. I'm, I'm spitting, I'm so excited. We start right here to cook some vegetables. Warm pan, a couple squirts of oil, and then the heartiest vegetables first. Some diced yellow onion and some celery. And these we're just gonna cook over the next few minutes till they just begin to soften. Next up, some shiitake mushrooms. And it looks like a bunch, but they're gonna shrink way down. Way down, son. You just wait. These are pretty close to where I want them, so now we'll add two more things. First, a little bit of oil, but then some chopped garlic, decent amount, followed up by about the same of chopped fresh ginger. Tiny bit more oil, we'll let those start to get super fragrant. Yum. And we can start to mix it in. Anybody smell dumplings? Because I certainly do. Oh, all right, we give this about another minute just to let the flavors meld, come together nicely. And after that minute, we take it off and let them cool before we move on. In the meantime, we make a little sauce and that will begin with about a quarter of a cup of hoisin, like that. Followed up by a more typical meatloaf condiment, a couple tablespoons of ketchup and a couple tablespoons of sriracha. One and two and one teeny splash sesame oil. More will come, but for now, that's what we use and we mix. Set that aside and we start to mix. First into the mixing bowl will be our proteins like that. Perfect. Next, three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. So we'll just hold everything together nicely. Beautiful. One egg like such, half teaspoon of sesame oil, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce or soy paste. Come on, there you go. Our vegetables are now cooler and they can go in. A little warm is fine, but you don't need to put them in boiling hot. I've got about a quarter cup of cilantro, AKA Chance. Coriander, but that's when it's dried. Yes, so there's another name waiting for it. I never know this one. Pinch of it. salt. They also call it Chinese parsley. Wait, parsley and cilantro are the same thing? No. No, Which I'm saying they call weird. it oh. Chinese parsley. <laughs> got it. And about a third of a cup of green onions, like that. It's like, oh yeah, that's an apple, but in Japan, we call that a <laughs> Japanese orange. <laughs> and with everything in, we have to mix. And the best way to do it is with your hands, and the best way to do it with your hands is with gloves. If I was home alone, it would just be bare hands, but Max gets a little squeamy. So, in we go. Oh, I'm telling you, the smell here. <gasps> oh, it's glorious. This is gonna be one of the greatest meatloafs known to mankind. Uh, I actually forgot something, Max, you can help. Come get a little bit of this hoisin sriracha ketchup mixture and put like three of those in. One, two, yeah, you can stop there. That's good, beautiful. Okay, save the rest for the top. And now we mix this in. Okay, <laughs> one more job for you? Yeah. Will you come get the uh, baking sheet with the sill pat yeah. and put it down here in front of me? I could de-glove. I want it right there. Maybe f let the people see the face. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Look at that. It's a sill pad. You guys will be able to get that soon. And by the way, sill pad is just a permanent reusable nonstick uh, sheet like parchment paper that you can use for anything. I prefer the hand shaped meatloaf to the meatloaf pan. And we all know what a loaf looks like. There's no reason you can't do this on your own. So just get up all the insides and now shape. The key at this point is an even shape all the way through so it will cook evenly. And clearly a meatloaf with chicken and pork is not as firm as an all beef one. So just, you know, 
Be gentle. Oh, that's a pretty meatloaf, man. That is a pretty meatloaf. Let me try and center it a bit more. I'm thinking Max's picture might be right on this sill pad. So I want to get it in a perfect spot for when that time comes. When you're satisfied with your work, this goes in a 350 oven for, I don't know, 45 to 50 minutes. And then we're going to put the remainder of that sauce on top for the last little bit to sort of caramelize. Sensational. All right, I'll be back. And remember this guy? Oh, I think you do. And it's coming along beautifully. Not the most attractive kid I've ever seen, but that's meatloaf at this point. And that's why we glaze. So here's our glaze again. Just gets brushed beautifully over the whole thing. This was the hoisin, the ketchup, and the sriracha. And it won't be too spicy from the sriracha because it will be dumbed down by the sweet of the hoisin. And of course, yes, ketchup has sweetness to it too. So just glaze away. And when you're done, back into the oven for another, oh, 10 or 15 to get gorgeous. And after an additional 15 minutes, we've got that sweet looking fellow. Hello, handsome, how are you? But wait, don't stop there because we're gonna give it one tiny little finishing. And that will be, I mean, it's Asian, so a little green onion and a few seeds. Oh, tell me that is not one spectacular looking meatloaf. I can't. <laughs> Thank you, G-Money is an excellent suggestion. Well, it is spectacular, even if I do say so myself. So let's cut. One beautiful piece. And then we take a plate, one of Max's special plates. We take our meatloaf and on we go. And if you like, one more little swipe of this, just for a little prettiness. And because it's showing, how about that and that? There you go, ladies and gentlemen, G Money's Asian meatloaf. I don't have to name it after the guy, do I? And if I'm not mistaken, it's time for a bite. And I love this little mushroom working its way up to the top. Oh gosh, let's go. Steam and a big bite. Mm, so good. It really is like a dumpling. And if you're thinking, Sam, three proteins, that's a little excessive. I say, no, it's not excessive. You should do it. They all bring something to the party. This freaking delicious party. Oh my God, please make it. Follow the recipe, it's below. Do everything I did. You don't have to swear as much as I do, but you have to make it because look, meatloaf. Does it get interesting? Uh, there's a lot of similar meatloafs out there. By the way, my next cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy and the Holy Grill, there's a smoked buffalo chicken meatloaf in it. Book comes out in March. We'll be talking about it some more. Uh, uh, it's too good. Thanks for hanging out. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel so you can be around for this kind of stuff. We appreciate you being here. It's cool weather out. This has got your name all over it. You and G Money, of course. See ya. And tell us what you want in the comments, just like G Money did.